Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbo 33 and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4, New Order Last Days of Europe as Rigatia. Last video, uh, we helped take out a Moor, although Magan took all the credit. Now we're taking out Magadon. And we're probably going to have to wor worry about Siberia coming up soon, which is going to be annoying to deal with. It always takes so long to march around and do anything over there. But, uh, we're easing into that. Let's see if fucking Kamarova win again. At this rate. Are you guys not moving? Then you move there. Move there. You guys move down into here. I also probably don't need Zaya. Probably just need Lagovischensk. Well, we actually might need Zaya. Um. Yeah, I think we do need Zaya. What? Adolf's dead? I've never seen that before. How could this happen? Tanya is crying right now. So they took over Slob Slobovny. So we'll have to probably retake that back. I think they can handle the rest from there. Probably. German Civil War. I, I'd recognize those frame drops anywhere. God fucking damn. No. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Don't re even fully re realize what I clicked. I had a YouTube comment recommend that I start uh, working on my new uh, other tech, the AA and the anti tank, which is actually a good idea. I just remembered it now. So, whoever you were, YouTube commenter, we'll see if I can pull up the. Well, Salba Fuda. Ooh! Uh, thank you for that. Not a bad idea at all. So we took... Magadon out. Excellent all around. into West Africa. I guess we could raid them in theory before we do anything. That'd be funny. And we w would give us a nice little final boost on that. Ooh. External investments, my beloved. Ooh. 
I'm guessing in a structure, I think that's a play. And all done. So infrastructure all done looking like all done is over here. It could use some infrastructure. Malgadon has some nice infrastructure. Um, a lot of the former Mer Merlands, not so much. Free civilian factories. What do we want to do over here? Uh, we could do some prisons. It's like we could still use some hospitals, so. I mean, infrastructure, you can't go wrong with. Yeah, I think you really can't go wrong nowadays with it. Um, let's try to get all our infrastructure up to five. And we'll take it from there. More dockyards. A little more convoys. That's all we really need. I need to hop back on over to Twitch. Formation of the Africa Shield. That's a little worrying. I don't know how much I really like that. I think Camera uh, Over might win again. Big shock. What the fuck are you doing, buddy? The fuck are you doing, too? No, you stay there. You're fine there. Oh god, the infrastructure in all of here is horrible. And we're moving through fucking tundra. We will be moving through fucking tundra, rather. And deep snow. Fucking the Yankees, indeed. Um. Chocola. So I have to move a troop over here in order to do the raid anyway. We get them to accept. Should I be paid? Look at that. Um, what do I want to get working on? What should I improve? We'll do agriculture. And then I think it's time to attack the Divine Mandate. Oh god. I don't know if I've act ever actually seen Japan win in the Philippines. Granted, I don't think I've, ha I've ever seen the USFIP and the commies go against each other. So that is... A little painful. A little unfortunate to see that. We'll prove our victories.
game. Some scorpion, right? Maxed out on military supplies, but I honestly think it's probably not going to matter too much coming up. I also might just speed five this war. So this is gonna be slow. Forward. Well, shit. It's not good for the Philippines. Guess we'll see how that one ends up playing out. It was supposed to happen at that point. I don't think I've seen that. I think I've seen the puppet government Japan has win before, but not the military one. Uh, Spear actually seems to be doing pretty well. I'm I'm surprised to see that. Do the rest of the construction over here. Not a good game so far for the OFN. They lost in the Philippines. The collabs won, so they could go back to Germany. Uh, they did win in uh, Malaya. But they're not doing well in South Africa, for example. They're really not doing well in South Africa. I'll keep marching through. Although I did, I do think they won. Looks like they won. Yeah, they won the Dominican Republic. So I guess actually, I think they're doing okay in their home. Although I think they shut down the reformation in uh, the referendum in Jamaica. So that's probably. I don't think that's gonna end well for them. I don't think it's supposed to at least. frames some war in Ghana got a new army group we'll go with this guy I'll recalibrate all this. Make it a field marshal order. Fuck, we're out of manpower. God damn it. 
demobilizing a bunch of... Okay, scrap these guys, scrap that guy. Give you a trait, give you Winter Expert. I can scavenge for loot again. I'll do that. It'll give me one last little tick. And I can dedicate to uh, boost something. Might do schools. I think the best play is going to be to improve schools. West African War. Updated equipment. So we'll have a new anti tank. We got plenty of reserves right now, so I'm not too worried about it. is one. A Scovian is just going crazy. schools. Perone returns. Internal investments, invest in infrastructure, and industrial investments. Do that while we can. Populous. And then commit to the war effort. We need that extra speed. Our chaos is maxed out. That's not going to help us too much. Just kind of got to keep pushing at this point. And hope that, uh... Measures, I don't think they're necessary. Juan Perón said he was returning. Oh, thank God. Kidding me. I can't contact the fleet. Even though Didn't want to cheat, but at the same time, I'd like to be able to.
and we'll contact the Soviet fleet. <clears throat> Head cocked back, Saplin gazed down through narrowly uh, narrowed eyes. Father Alexander men, heavily built and impressively bearded men, sat in the docks in his priest's vestments. His only concession of vanity, golden crucif cruciform necklace. Breathing tranquil, he looked ahead in a state of apparent serenity, one resting lightly atop the other. Sublin wondered if the state of his mind was as peaceful as his exterior would lead one to believe. Truth be told, Sublin couldn't quite figure men out. He wasn't a tyrant, an evil man, although he seemed to believe in the best interests of the Russian people. He also fought against the Socialist Revolution. Having once been a member of the prescribed catacomb church, he had continually held that Christianity, not socialism, would be Russia's salvation. A good man at heart, but so misguided. Religion was, as Marx so firmly said, the opiate of the masses. The Russian people will never be free unless, until, they liberated themselves from the bishops and their saccharine lies. Alexander Vladimir the Men began Brown as Evelyn noticed how men didn't even tend to slide as the sentence was read out. Discord soldiers and focus find you guilty of crimes against the socialist revolution. You are hereby sentenced to two years and six months of rehabilitative labor in the service of the revolution. Dismissed. Standing men silently made the sign of a cross. He went out, w w went with dignity, allowing the soldiers to take him outside without resistance, not glancing back, as though afraid of being transformed uh, into a pillar of salt. Sublime couldn't help but notice the subdued mood of a the gallery. They would seemed to become, been hoping for more of a show. Men had been an enemy of socialism and needed to be punished, but that didn't mean that he had to be cruel about it. As Petruro had once said to him, the strength of their revolution came from their clemency, not from bloody-handed retribution. Refrain from anger, and turn from wrath. It leads only to evil. Well. We'll divert supplies to the populace, because we don't really need... Chaos from spreading as well. And Perona's return, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Lenin is young again. If one was to tell the story of a young man who led a social revolution against all odds, a corrupt bulwark of the Soviet establishment, if he and succeeded, they would be called delusional. If you would believe such a feat could succeed, fear still would have expected to sur survive afterwards without collapsing into infighting, poverty, and division. Sublime proved these assumptions false. No longer, no more is this a simple revolution against the tyrants of old. It's a revitalization of socialism itself. Out of the ashes of the old USSR, rises a true Soviet state, one uncorrupted by the excesses and oppression of the past. Under Sublime, the Far East stands united under socialism, and you will see Lenin's vision fully realized. There we go. And once we finish this up, we can click that. Lenin, see him again. All eyes rest upon the Iberian Far East, as our forces of the former Brigat ASSR solidify their control over the region, led by the former Commissar of Valeria Sublin, who until recently served under Genya Kigoda during his reign of terror before leading the popular revolt that ultimately defeated the former head of the NKVD. Espousing a strong Leninist ideology, Sublin is nevertheless sworn to avoid the excesses of the old Union, striving for just and equal society, popular among the youth and the dreamers of Siberia. One must not, nevertheless wonder how dedicated Sabine, barely an adult, is to his dream of a truly equal union. Whatever the case, the men and women of the Far East march west, determined to bring their ideas to all of Russia. Can idealism survive in these dark times? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to take a gander of his focus tree. Next moves forward. Forward looks like we have to, uh... Either do one of this. I have to do either this or this. Okay. Do this, this, this. Okay. Can't immediately go down that. Looks to be the same for this. 
We're actually locked down uh, to focus mainly on this tree, interestingly enough. That's interesting, actually. Is there anything else we can do? We have regional development. Red Banner Pacific Fleet to cool. We got a lot of stuff we gotta check out, but I'll leave that for next time. So all you two people, thanks for watching. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. If you have any comments or feedback, I can certainly leave in the comment section below. I read all the comments again. Appreciate any all feedback you might have for me. Uh if you want to see me do sort of uh want to keep up to my uploads, hit the sub button. I have uploads going up weekdays as well as occasionally Saturdays. Uh, if you want to see me do sort of live, I have Twitch. If you want to check out that sound description box for along with a couple of my other different links. That's really it for now, my friends. Thank you as always for watching. My name has been Mr. Dogbot53. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.